Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ali radiyal ta'ala anhu said, There are sons for this world and sons for the hereafter. So you be the sons of the hereafter. The explanation of these words is that sons earn for their parents. The sons of the hereafter means you must earn for the hereafter. While the sons of this world means those who earn for this world. If a person does all earnings for this world, then at the time of death, he will find himself going to the everlasting home empty-handed. Then he will cry but in vain, and he will be in the everlasting torment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned this topic a few times in the Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that there are people who work to earn for this world and there are people who, who work to earn for the life for the hereafter. Those who earn for this world, Allah said that Allah will give them all that they have the right to get. Allah will give them in this world and in the hereafter they will have only the annar the fire. In the hereafter, they will have nothing except the torment of fire. So, uh, we are here actually to earn for the hereafter. Those who work for the hereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most merciful, will be merciful to them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include us among them. And Will, give, will forgive their, their uh, sins and will, inshallah, take them to paradise. So our, our all attempts must be to earn for the hereafter, but here we have to do something to live for our simple living. Muhammad sallallahu said, Kun fi dunya ka anna ka gharib aw abiri sabil. Be in this world as if you are a stranger or as a wayfarer. Actually, you know, when a person is a stranger, that means he lives in a city or in a country to which he doesn't belong. So he will not spend a lot of money there making houses or buildings. We'll just live a simple life. But it may be that a person will be living in a, in a country or a city other than his own city or, or country and still he may spend a lot of money there and may work hard to make his life very good there. So uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa after that said or as a wayfarer. Wayfarer means like you are traveling by a train and you stopped at a station just for a while waiting for the same train to go or maybe you are changing your train and waiting for another train to come and then there you sit for a while you may buy something to eat a, 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 a cup of cup a, a cup of tea you may buy to eat to drink but still you are thinking that I'm just waiting for a, few, for, a, for a very short time and I'm going. Then there you will not spend a lot thinking that your destination is not, not that station. Your destination is some other place. So in this world we must think that our destination is not this world. Our destination is the hereafter. Therefore, we must do, we must work hard for the hereafter. But as we have to live, the Prophet ﷺ had simple houses to live in. Simple food, simple clothes, that is what we should do. We shouldn't spend all of our time, our time earning for this world, making big buildings, you know, living a luxurious life and then going without 
any earnings for the for the life hereafter what can we do for the life hereafter here we must live simple life and well we must do all preparations for the hereafter for the hereafter the, in the first place our belief must be correct we must believe in the one single and unique god and that god has the right to be worshiped the right to be obeyed and the rights to to pay thanks to because that god is our creator that god is the creator of the whole universe that god is managing the affairs our affairs in the affairs of the whole universe that god is our kind lord our sustainer our provider providing us everything that we need our sustenance everything that we need if we are sick we pray to god to give us health and god gives us health if we are in danger for example in an ocean in danger we pray to god almighty god because that sovereign is the all powerful in huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir has power over everything can do everything so we pray to that god and god fulfills our needs protects us in in dangers so then we must be thankful to that god we must worship that god and god has created us for worship and we must obey the commands of god and when we do all that every step becomes worship for us remember when we live in a way that we try to to be obedient and thankful and humble to our to our almighty god lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has many beautiful names then our whole life becomes a worship and that is what what we must do and that will be our preparation for the hereafter god wants from us that we what we earn if we have saving for one year we must pay the obligatory zakat and if we have money and we have some person needy in front of us or near of us in our neighbor or in our, uh, our relatives we must share our food with them we must help them with money with food with clothes all this goes to to the earnings of our hereafter you must make five five times obligatory salat every day not quickly not taking a fixed uh, number of minutes uh, Uh, in those salat no we must make them in the way the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did and the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught us how to make salat so we must make five times a day salat we must fast in the month of ramadan which comes once in a year we must pay the obligatory zakat if we have savings and if we can having good health and also enough money to travel to mecca we must do the pilgr- pilgrimage hajj once in life is obligatory on us we must do lawful marriage we must take care of our children the mother must do her de- her duties the father must do his duties we must take care of our our neighbors we shouldn't torture them we should be kind to all people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to to be kind to people so when we live in this way inshallah we are earning for the hereafter and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take us from this world to the hereafter among Allah's obedient and thankful and humble servants and then 
the most merciful may allah swt forgive our sins and take us to paradise and protect us from hell amen subhan rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al mursalin walhamdulillah rabbil alamin allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid